James Edward Franco is an American actor, filmmaker, and academic. For his role in 127 Hours, he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor. Franco is known for his roles in live-action films, such as Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Trilogy, Milk, Pineapple Express, Eat, Pray, Love, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Spring Breakers, Oz the Great and Powerful, This is the End, and The Disaster Artist, for which he won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor. He is known for his collaborations with fellow actor Seth Rogen, having appeared in eight films and one television series with him. Franco is also known for his work on television, his first prominent acting role was the character Daniel Desario on the short-lived ensemble comedy drama Freaks and Geeks, which developed a cult following. He portrayed the title character in the television biographical film James Dean, for which he won a Golden Globe Award. Franco had a recurring role on the daytime soap opera General Hospital and starred in the limited series 11.22.63. He currently stars in the David Simon created HBO drama The Deuce. Franco volunteers for the Art of Elysium charity, and has taught film classes at New York University, the University of Southern California, UCLA, Studio 4, Palo Alto High School, and Playhouse West. James Edward Franco was born in Palo Alto, California on April 19, 1978. His mother, Betsy Lou, is a writer and occasional actress, and his father, Douglas Eugene, Doug, Franco, ran a Silicon Valley business. His father was of Portuguese and Swedish ancestry, while his mother is Jewish, from a family of Russian Jewish descent. His maternal grandfather, Daniel, changed his surname from Ferovitz to Fern sometime after 1940. His paternal grandmother, Marjorie, is a published author of young adult books. His maternal grandmother, Mitzi, owned the prominent Vern Art Gallery in Cleveland, Ohio, and was an active member in the National Council of Jewish Women. Franco's family upbringing was academic, liberal, and largely secular. He grew up in California with his two brothers, actors Tom and Dave. A math whiz, Franco interned at Lockheed Martin. He was often encouraged by his father to get good grades and did well on his SATs. He graduated from Palo Alto High School in 1996, where he acted in plays. This led to him attending CSSSA in 1998 for theater studies. In his high school years, Franco was arrested for underage drinking, graffiti, and being a part of a group that stole designer fragrances from department stores and sold them to classmates. These arrests led to Franco briefly becoming a ward of the state. Facing the possibility of juvenile hall, he was given a second chance by the judge. He recalled of his troubles with the law, it was teen angst. I was uncomfortable in my own skin. I was shy. I changed my ways just in time to get good grades. Although the idea of becoming a marine zoologist interested him, Franco had always secretly wanted to become an actor but feared being rejected. He enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles as an English major, but dropped out after his first year to pursue a career as an actor, since he would have had to wait two years to audition for their acting program. He instead chose to take acting lessons with Robert Carnegie at the Playhouse West. Around this time, he took up a late-night job at McDonald's to support himself because his parents refused to do so. He was a vegetarian for the year prior to working there. While working at the establishment, he would practice accents on customers, an experience he remembered nostalgically in a 2015 Washington Post editorial titled, McDonald's was there for me when no one else was. After 15 months of training, Franco began auditioning in Los Angeles. His first paid role was a television commercial for Pizza Hut, featuring a dancing Elvis Presley. He found guest roles on television shows but his first break came in 1999, after he was cast in a leading role on the short-lived but well-reviewed NBC television series Freaks and Geeks, which ran for 18 episodes and was cancelled due to low viewership. Later, the show became a cult hit among audiences. He has since described the series as, one of the most fun, work experiences that he has had. In another interview, Franco said, When we were doing Freaks and Geeks, I didn't quite understand how movies and TV worked, and I would improvise even if the camera wasn't on me. So I was.